Our solar system, from 4 billion years ago, it's a very different place from what you're used to nowadays. You're pretty lucky, you know. Your planet has the perfect conditions for life, but it also has a big moon by its side which helps stabilize the axis and keeps the tides in line. But have you ever wondered why the moon is here, or where did it come from? Well, here's the story. Oh, just look at that rock over there. He's so cowardly. Look at him acting all cautious every second. How I hate him. I could throw any asteroid at him. Hey, little guy. Who goes there? It is I, Stripe Ball, the biggest object in the solar system, just behind that star. I couldn't help but overhear that you hate Lava Ball over there. Yes, I do. Me too. In fact, I think I have a little bargain for you. What's that? I'm just gonna throw you out of your orbit into his orbit, and you can do all of those things you've wanted to do to him for real. Hmm, I'm so tempted. He'll finally get what he gets for being a stupid coward. <gasps> I can even trick him into thinking I like him. Well... Alright, Strike Ball. I'll do it. Great. Now get over there, Deadbeat! Whoa! Watch it! Oh, it's you. <clears throat> oh, how I've dreamed of always being by your side. Who are you again? Why, I'm none other than Thea. I take it you're Lava Ball? Yeah? Eee! Oh, what? how I love how what? flashy you are. Hey. Look at those lava streams. Uh, how wonderfully toxic those look. Mm -hmm. And your volcanoes, too. Uh, and those clouds of noble gases. How invigorating. Uh, I love you, Lava Ball. And I shall stay by your side for all eternity. Oh, well, I'm flattered. Yeah, that sounds great. Thea would then go on to push Proto-Earth around. Oh, hey. <gasps> oh, did I do that? Oh, I'm so sorry. Who did that? Oh my, I didn't mean that. Hey, why'd you run into me? What? She then started to throw asteroids at him. Ah! Oh. oh my goodness, who could have done such a thing? And she was having a lot of fun as the other planets looked on in confusion and horror. However, one day, she had gone too far, and Earth had decided he had had enough of Thea's abuse. <sighs> oh my, what happened? That's enough! No longer will I let you throw asteroids at me! This friendship is over! <laughs> Lava ball. No! Go back to your orbit, Thea! Hmm, fine. You weren't all that flashy anyway, coward! Now who am I gonna annoy all the time? Oh, look at that one. That one has the blue liquid. Hey, water ball. Oh, Lord, it's you! What do you think you're doing? Come on, I just want to be with you. Get away! <laughs> I am not getting abused today! Ugh, I hate everything, especially that lava ball. That's it! I'm crashing into him! If I'm going out, I'm going out at the expense of him! Bunga bunga lava ball! What was that? This time, no protection! Wait, what are you doing? Huh? The collision between the two planets was so strong, it sent millions of tiny fragments of both planets out into space, eventually forming a ring of fiery debris around the new super planet, the one containing the souls of Thea and Proto-Earth. Eventually, after several years, this debris from the collision would eventually take the shape of a new spherical body, which is- Happy birthday! Huh? What is this? So you're a new object, huh? I don't really know what it means to exist right now. Aw, you're so cute. I gotta call you something. How about, uh... <laughs> Atroon! Uh, Moon, Moon, Moon. Ooh, I like that. You're my little friend, Moon. Okay. Hi. Ah, another one. Oh, you can be Moon too. But I'm Moon. No, 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 no. She's the second Moon of me. Oh. I don't know what that means. And with that, the Earth now had two new companions by his side. The current Moon would, of course, outlive the other. But this was something that would change the course of the Earth's life forever.